Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In this video I will be showing you how you can implement Steam into your Unreal Engine game. So let's get started. First of all you need to click on the first link in the description and download the advanced session binaries. This is the official site for the advanced session plugin and then you will need to select your version. I am using version 5.2.0 so I will download this one. After you have downloaded this you need to Locate your project in the explorer and you need to create a new folder here and call it plugins. So in here we can drag and drop the thing we downloaded like so and then we can unzip this. Extract here. Okay then we can delete the zip file and now it's a really important step. You can delete this and then just select this and drag and dro drop this onto plugins. So your final setup should look like this. You have plugins and then those two things. Another thing we need to change is something in the config. So go into config default engine.ini and either click the second link in the description or just copy the default text that is in this description. So I am on this website now and I scroll down and these are just some basic settings and um, you need in order for Steam to work properly. So I'm back in my file and then just go to the very bottom and paste this and then save this. If you have your own Steam Dev app ID, you can change it here. If not, then you can use 480 to use for testing and stuff. So now if we go back to here, we need to restart this. Now the project is restarted and now go to plugins, go to project and you should enable these two but they should also be enabled when you just add them to your plugins uh, and then you should also search for online subsystem should be enabled online subsystem steam should be enabled and online subsystem utils should be enabled okay then if we now play in standalone you can actually see that this worked and it did work as you can see okay so now we can go to here it's, a, it's the same space war as we are using the 480 dev app id and this is w uh, why you need to change this later when you have your own dev app id when you um, have a steam dev account and a game there i hope you enjoyed this please leave a like and subscribe goodbye